Was it just me or was that music kind of all at the points? Hold on. Wrong one. Does it just get wider as you put it out as a further number? Battle style set. Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. I'm saying Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. I believe that's supposed to be a Pikachu, but it's a Furo. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? Name, we're gonna go with me. No, MC. I'm using this, using a controller for this, but it's not really going well. Right, so your name is MC. We're just gonna go Gary with this one. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. What was his name again? Gary. Because it's supposed to be Ash's story. We just stole Ash's role. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Meow. MC. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon. Oh, wait, let's go! Hello, I am playing, well, obviously, Pokemon Yellow, and this is a randomized Nuzlocke, so everything is kind of randomized. That's why you saw Firo instead of Pikachu when we were coming in. And if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, I guess I'll kind of explain as we go. And hopefully the power does not go out, because if so, then I'm going to just have to start this over from the beginning again, and I'll probably be knowing what's going on when it comes to different Pokemon that's randomized, because the way that Pokemon get randomized stays the same on the same file unless you change the file. Uh, withdraw. Ooh, we got a Great Ball. So yeah, the reason why I'm worried about a power outage was I was recording my 11th episode of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time for Mario Monday. And the power flashed out twice. The computer that I'm playing this on stayed on both times, but then my other computer where I was recording my vocal audio turned off. So I lost that. So I'm very mad about that. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. So... Let's get to playing some old-fashioned, first-generation Pokemon. Here's a mom. She's going to tell us that Professor Oak is looking for us. To which we're not even going to bother talking to her. So now let's get started with the story. Hey, wait. Don't go out. Professor Oak, what are we going to get as our first Pokemon? That was close. All Pokemon live in tall grass. Here we go. What is it? What is it? What is the Pokemon that we're going to be starting with? A Mr. Mime! Man. Mr. Mime, you better have confusion. And the reason why I'm saying that you better have confusion is this. The way this works is types are also randomized. So the types are randomized. The stats are going to be the same. I think I left it so that the moves that they're going to be learning normally are going to stay the same. The TMs are going to be switched up. What Pokemon can learn TM-wise is going to probably match up better with the new typing that they have. And the reason why I want Mr. Mime to have confusion is because I've tried this Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke before in the past, like two years ago, maybe. I haven't done a Nuzlocke in like two or three years. But I tried doing it, and I started off with a Mew and like two other things, and it was a great team. I beat Brock, got to the next route, and ran into, I believe it was a Charizard, that was ghost type, and I had no moves that were not normal moves. So, literally, it became game over just from the fact that I could not touch the Charizard. It was like Wonder Guard, in a way. Whew. Pokemon can appear anytime in tall grass. You need your Pokemon, your own Pokemon, for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. 
So the way that this starts is if you lose a Pokemon, or the way this goes is if you lose a Pokemon, it's considered dead and you can't use it anymore. So we cannot lose our Pokemon. At least we cannot lose every Pokemon in our party when we're in a battle. Or we cannot lose more Pokemon than we have available to us. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Hmm, Gary, why are you here already? I said for you to come by later. Ah, uh, whatever. Just wait there. Look, MC, do you see that ball on the table? It's called a Pokeball. It holds a Pokemon inside. You may have it. Go on, take it. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Gary. I'll give you one later. Now we're going to go try to get this, and Gary's going to say, Nope, I want it. No way. MC, I want this Pokemon. Gary snatched the Pokemon. I wonder what it is. I hope it's trash. Because he's supposed to stick with it for the rest of the game. I set it for he keeps a starter, because I don't like it when you get your rival and then the starter changes. Gary, what are you doing? Gramps, I want this one. But I... Oh, all right then. That Pokemon is yours. I was going to give you one anyway. MC, come over here. I don't want Mr. Mime. I don't want Mr. Mime. It's a Mr. Mime! MC, this is the Pokemon I caught earlier. You can have it. I caught it in the wild, and it's not tame yet. MC received a Mr. Mime. Oh, and you also have to nickname every single Pokemon that you get. Uh, Let's go with... Shoot. I don't know any Mimes other than Mr. Mime. I'm going to call it... Rhyme, just because now it has an evolution when it becomes an ice type, and it's Miss uh, Mr. Rhyme. So that's gonna be its nickname. Let's check it out because we don't know what type it is. Holy crap! We got a fighting fire starter. What is this? Gen three through five? Yes, we have confusion. Awesome. I have no clue what freaking Gary is gonna have. Wait, MC. Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on. I'll take you on. Please have something that is weak to confusion. The psychic type. That is not going to hurt fighting or fire that much. Please. You thief! I might not be making it out of this. I might be making it out. Super effective. Confusion, please, 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 kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, it's not for the sliver. I don't. No, actually, it might have flying attacks. I don't think it does, but it might. But really, you thief. That was supposed to be my Dragonite. But no, you had to have it. Root of level 7. We skipped a whole level because we fought a Dragonite. Whew. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. I think you just picked all the wrong moves. You picked the best Pokemon and that's why I'm mad. MC got 175 for winning. Okay. I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. MC, Gramps, smell you later. What? Would you look at that? That's odd. Put it up here so Pikachu just likes <laughs> You should just keep it with you. That should make it happy. You can talk to it and see how it feels about you. Except for we don't have a Pikachu, so we don't have a Pokemon following us. Because this is Pokemon Yellow where Pikachu is supposed to follow you, but we didn't get a Pikachu. I could have said it so we got a Pikachu, but I decided not to. I also could have said it so that Gary could have gotten whatever Pokemon I wanted him to. But I decided to keep it random. Because it's not randomized if you actually choose stuff. So, we should go up to the next town. And this is the way that a Nuzlocke goes if you don't know. Whenever you're in the space, like, one town, one route, whatever. First Pokemon that you encounter, you have to catch. Except for it doesn't apply right now because we don't have Pokeballs. Holy crap, we have a great ball. It applies. 
it freaking applies right now. If I run into something right now, I have to catch it. Oh, I kind of wish I didn't check my PC now. Because I only have one chance to catch whatever is here. And if I fail, I fail. Please, 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 please. I don't want to run into anything. I don't want to run into anything. I don't want to run into anything. Oh, and here's also another thing that kind of is trash about the first generation. Is if any of these end up being anything that I run into ends up being a legendary. I'm probably not going to be able to catch it. The reason being, and I experienced this when I tried doing this Nuzlocke on this game before two years ago. I ran into Articunos and Zapdoses before. And here's the problem. Unless you give it a status effect and get it down to the red and you are stronger than that Pokemon, you will not be catching it because it will dodge your Pokeball. Forget about it popping out of the Pokeball. It will dodge. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? Yeah, I did. You know Professor Oak, right? Yes, I do. His order came in. Will you take it to him? Yes, I will. And I got Oak's parcel. So yeah, I can run into a legendary right now and I kind of hope I don't. Because if I don't, because if I do run into one, I'm kind of in trouble. Oh no, you don't get put. I forgot. When it comes to Pokemon Yellow, they don't give you Pokeballs. You have to go up to the guy that teaches you how to catch Pokemon, and then they hand you Pokeballs. I can't just put the Great Ball back in the PC and act like, oh, well, I can't catch something on this route because I don't have the Pokeballs for it because they didn't give me any. No, I, I have a Pokeball. It would be cheating if I don't try to catch this now. This is the first encounter I had to try and catch it. Venomoth. Not bad. Also, if I kill it, it's considered gone. I can't try to catch another Pokemon. <gasps> Please. Get in the Great Ball. Stay in the Great Ball. Don't break out of it. No! All right, now I think I should make it that those rules apply. The whole rules about until... This is complex, actually. Because literally, it's not supposed to be held against you until you have the tutorial or you get Pokeballs. I had one Great Ball, but I can't get any more Pokeballs right now. Here's what I'll do. I'll count that Route 1 attempt. Route 1... Has failed. I've failed to catch a Pokemon. I cannot have another Pokemon. But anywhere else, until I receive Pokeballs, it's not going to be held against me. But Route 1 is officially off the list. We'll do it like that. I think that's fair. Oh, MC. That was my old Pokemon. It's okay. It battled a Venomoth and won. Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me. MC delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Is that the GS ball? Thanks, MC. By the way, I must ask you to do something for me. Gramps! Gramps, my Pokemon has grown stronger. Check it out. Ah, Gary, good timing. I needed to ask both of you to do something for me. On the desk over there is my invention, Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. MC and Gary, take these with you. MC got the Pokedex from Professor Oak. To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. MC, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, MC. Ha ha ha. Sure. Also, I don't need the map. It's just going to take up space in my inventory. I don't want that. So we're going to skip the map. But technically, I could catch something in Pallet Town when I have Pokeballs. But I currently don't have Pokeballs, and I also can't actually catch anything on the water because I don't have a fishing rod. All right, let's keep going up. Keep going up. Still going up. And I think I should hit Pokemon Center and 
heal up Mr. Mime. He doesn't have a lot of damage, but he does have damage done to him. And you never know when you're going to get one shot by something that has moves that are powerful enough to do it. I'm kind of surprised that Venomoth didn't do more damage with Confusion. So it was Confusion that he used, right? All right, hope to see me again. Thank you for the bad wishes. All right, old man has had his coffee, supposedly. I've had my coffee now and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry, I was so rude to you. I see you're using a Pokedex. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon as an apology. This is supposed to be random too. Let's see if he actually catches it. Oh, no, he's not supposed to catch it. Never mind. Nice though, a Haunter. Yeah, it doesn't matter what. He's not going to catch the first Pokemon. That's how it goes. I had no clue what this player model was supposed to look like when I was younger. I was like, this is really messy looking. But I knew it was supposed to be an old man because of this. That didn't work. I must be losing my touch. For now, I have Pokeballs too. I have to get some of the Pokemon Mart. Oh, yeah, that's kind of trash. In this game, you have to buy your own Pokeballs to start. You don't get handed five. All right, let's go buy some Pokeballs. Now that we can buy them, we can buy them. Sorry, I didn't have any other better way to put it. Let's go ahead and buy. 10 Pokeballs. Let's buy another potion. Get two antidotes. Is there anything else? No, I'm not going to worry about those. All right. It's kind of sad that you can buy 10 Pokeballs here and not get a Premier Ball. Hold on. Before we do much else, let's... <gasps> That's huge! We got to go back to the Pokemon Mart. We got to go back, back, back and saw All right. Hi, I would like to sell a nugget and get Buku Bucks. Thank you. All right, now we're not going to sell no mo. No, 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 no. Let's get another 10 Pokeballs. Let's get... Have a total of 10 potions. And let's save the rest of our money for now. Just for now. All right, I kind of want to go over here. And I kind of want to try and get my first catch. Come on, please, please, please. Wow, as soon as we step into the grass. Sand Slash, all right, all right. That's good, we'll take it, we'll take it. All right, so Confusion, please survive. I like that you can get crits. Can you stop? All right, now we can no longer catch a Pokemon on this route. Why is there so much disappointment for me right now? I can't catch anything. I didn't want this Mr. Mime, but he won't stop killing everything. Well, he didn't really have a choice with the Venomoth. But he keeps getting crits. Hey, come on, something in this grass, something in this grass, something in this grass. Please, 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 please. Redemption! Stupid rival might have stolen our Dragonite. But we ran into another one anyway. Rhyme! Am I ever going to catch something? Am I ever going to be allowed to catch something? It's not a matter of me trying or not. No, 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 no. I tried the one time I was allowed to. Now everything's just dying. All right. Where's the antidote in the tree? Right here? Dire hit. Awesome. Never going to use that. And then we got to get up here to the item that's up here. That felt like reiterating, but it worked. Parasect. Are you going to survive or are you going to die too? 
because I'm about to just have to go to Brock's gym with no assistance. Thank you. Finally, we had something that lived. Please pick up. Please pick up. Please pick up. Yes, as long as you're going to attack me, please miss. But please get caught. We got a Parasect. We finally have something else on the team. Parasect. A mushroom Pokemon. Height, 3 foot 3. Weight, 64 pounds. The bug host is drained of energy by the mushrooms. On its back. They appear to do all the thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be basically a zombie bug. Um. Let's go with Zomb. Is this an underscore or a dash? It's a dash. Zomb Crab. Nice heal. Yeah. Let's look at Parasect. What are you now? It's a ghost type. We got a ghost. 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 If we run into things that only have normal type moves, this is going to be so boss for us. I feel like I'm using old terminology right now, but I guess it kind of works because we're playing an old game. We could hit a Snorlax! Fusion. Snorlax doesn't have anything but normal moves right now, does he? Go Zom Crab. Amnesia. Nice. Good for you. Let's go ahead and paralyze you just for fun. Leech Seed, or Leech Life, not Leech Seed. That's super effective. Oh, that means it's Grass type or Psychic. I don't think it's Psychic because Confusion wouldn't have done as much. Keep going, Zom Crab. Zom Crab might just level up like crazy in Viridian Forest. If this is how it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. We just run into a massive amount of Snorlaxes. If Snorlaxes are the Caterpies of this, it's going to be great. Unfortunately, it might be Parasects are the Caterpies of Radio Forest. Yeah, I think Parasects are the Caterpies of Radio Forest. All right, Confusion. I'm so glad that we could hit Parasect too. It'd be very sad if I couldn't. All right, we're going to go heal up. And I'm going to actually take this time to end off this episode. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time, deuces. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. Roaches get the race, spray my weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, million man marching, Sparta mixed with a legion of angels, surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.